when we implement our, our RAG system, things can get really tricky. There's the loss in the middle problem that we discussed before, uh, long document retrieval and those kind of things. Uh, we know that uh, naive chunking is not going to generate good RAG results. And issue is each chunk lacks global concept awareness. And we think that there are all kinds of ways to enhance the RAG retrieval. So today we're going to talk about a very cool trick to improve RAG retrieval performance, which is called sub-document summaries. Essentially, it is a context augmentation technique. Hi, Mehdi. Hi, Angelina. Yeah, so this is going to be the topic today. So what exactly is the problem here? Of course. Let me explain what chunking is, and then I will go back to the problem of general, you know, chunking. So RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation is a technique which basically improves the accuracy of generative models by giving them this functionality of searching through external data and fact-checking before answering our question. When we are implementing a RAG system, one of the first steps that we have to do as part of the data pipeline is to chunk, right, or make data or documents into a smaller pieces and then embed them and store them into a vector database. So chunking essentially means the process of dividing documents into a smaller, more manageable segments or chunks. For instance, if I have a collection of Wikipedia pages, like here, Alan Turing, then if I'm going to use that in a rag, I have to split this document into a smaller pieces or chunks. And there are different methods for chunking. You can chunk based on the number of characters. You can do it based on the number of words or even the number of sentences. So there are different ways of chunking, but the process is the same. You have to split the document into a smaller pieces. And then after that, in this case, we have six chunks. We have to embed each one of them. So we will have six different embeddings. And then we store all the embeddings into our vector database. And later, when the user asks a question, we have to embed the question, and then we will go to the vector database. We have to find the relevant chunks. Then we will just pass the relevant chunks to the LLM along with the question and the prompt. The LLM will generate some kind of response for us. So that's why we have to do that. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's why chunking is a very important task in the RAG. The problem with normal chunking is that if we have a collection of thousands of documents, for example, if we simply chunk each document and then store them into a vector database, when we are going to find the answer, we have to search through all of these chunks. We are dealing with tens of thousands of chunks that we have to search through to be able to find the relevant chunks. That's why, right, using some smart ways of chunking is very important. So how can we fix this problem? So instead of searching through every single chunk, when we are chunking the documents, we can also summarize the entire document and attach that summary as a metadata to each embedding. So essentially in this solution, what we can do is to include the document summary. So document summary is the same because each we summarize the document and we add that as part of the embedding, part of the metadata with the embedding, and then we save them into the vector database. So when user ask a question, we can go and search through document summaries first, and then find, let's say, the relevant document to the user question. And then we can go, oh, now that the answer is in this particular document, now I can only go and fetch related chunks 
from that document and then generate the response. So that's the very first solution for this problem. However, although this one works, it still doesn't solve right, the problem completely. And the reason for that is each document, although it has a general theme or a global context, this document is about Alan Turing, but each section of the document may be about a particular aspect of Alan Turing. So we, have, we are dealing with a local context, which is within that document, and we are dealing with a global context, which is the general theme of the document. And if we just attach the document summary to each embedding, we may improve the accuracy of the RAG, but not a lot. So the local context is in the embeddings. Each chunk has its own embedding, which is encapsulating the local context. And the document su summary is a whole document summary, which encapsulates the global information, the global context, right? So you have that as your metadata while you have the local mm -hmm. information embedded in each one of the embeddings. But this is still not good enough. Exactly. Yeah. This is a very good solution. However, we can even improve it more. Even more. Right? Yeah. So what is it? What is of, it? Okay. So instead of um, attaching the document summary to every single embedding, what we can do, we can, for example, split the document into different, like bigger sub documents. Let's say here in this case, I divide this document into two sub documents. And then I summarize each one of these sub documents. When I am chunking the entire document, just like here, I can, for example, just add this summary into the relevant chunks. And this summary, this sub document right here, which is this second rectangle here. When I summarize that, I can attach the summary of only this part to the relevant chunks. So this way, when I ask a question, I can first find the more relevant sub documents because first I come and search into these sub document summaries and I say, oh, this part of the document can answer my question. Then I will come to only the relevant chunks here, and then I can search through each chunks and re re return some of them as the results to the LLM. So that's the difference. Here, we are just summarizing the entire document, and then uh, we will add it as metadata to each embedding. Here, we can divide the document into just a few large sub-documents summarize each one of them and then we will attach that summary to only the relevant chunks and then we will just do the rest this technique is called a sub document summary uh -huh. within the rag yeah. so this one works better in practice if you think about it it's like a hierarchical order so when the user asks a question first you go and search through these sub document summaries to just pinpoint part of the document that is related to the user query. And then when you find that part, you can search further the relevant chunks that are related to that particular summary. And then let's say, for example, you return top three or top five chunks. Right. In yeah. practice, this technique works much better than. This technique and this technique obviously works better than not really having any document summary because in this scenario, you have to search through tens of thousands of chunks every time user is asking a question, right? So the latency is much more here. The accuracy obviously will lower. This one is better and this one is even better. I see. Yeah, this makes total sense, especially potentially suitable for longer documents, for instance, books with chapters you really have quite different information of the, the main topic, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you capture the multi-modality within a long document 
by different sub documents and attach that as uh, metadata for each sub document should work really well with in those kind of scenarios, right? The, yes. Let's zoom in in those information. Yeah, exactly. So it's like when you have a, a, a book, right? Let's say the entire book is about a, a particular topic. For example, let's say if you have a book about machine learning, the entire book is talking about machine learning, but the book has several chapters. Each chapter locally is talking about a completely separate topic, which is maybe different techniques of machine learning. So that's why a good approach, if you want to implement a RAG for that particular book, is divide the book into different chapters and summarize each chapter. And then when you are splitting documents into chunks, chunks for each chapter will have the summary of that chapter as part of the like, metadata. And then you just embed them. When you ask a question, first you go and hit the chapter that has the answer to the question, and then you go and search through only the chunks from that chapter and return the relevant ones. Yeah, that that's like how human, how we do it as well, right? When we look at a whole thick book, we don't just read from the beginning to the end. We look at the content, right? Table of content, and you oh, look exactly is relevant. And then I go to that chapter to look for my answer, right? Yes, so that's a good analogy here. Exactly. What we do, we first just look at the table of content, different se sections or chapters to see which chapter is related to my question. And then I say, oh, now within this chapter, I have to, like, there are multiple sections, right? You check sections, you can think about it as chunks. Now I have to go to this particular section of this particular chapter and read about it. Yeah, totally. This makes total sense. Now let's talk about implementation. How do we do this in real um, coding environment? Implementation is straightforward. Essentially, you have to split your document into some sub documents and then you summarize them and then embedding each chunk. Then you can add the summary of each sub document as a metadata. Um, there are implementations in different libraries. I think Llama Index has already implemented. So this is a sample notebook where you can see how they have done it. Pretty much a few lines of code. So let's say you will read your documents here. The document is a paper. So you will read that you hear this function subdoc summary pack. It's a function that is going to take care of that part. So Essentially, what it does when you read the document and make it the smaller chunks, you pass all of the chunks and then you say, oh, I want my parent size, which is, let's say, the sub document size to be of 8,000 words, right? And the chunk size is the smaller chunks within that sub document to be of this size. And then you pass your LLM and embedding model. But essentially, this is the function that you have to call. And when you do that, it automatically just divides a document into some sub-documents. And then it will summarize that and then attach that as part of the embedding and store that into the vector database. So you can see that all of that detail has been abstracted away. So you are not really doing anything except that you just give a bunch of parameters. Right. And that's it. Then when you ask a question, for example, how was Lama 2 pre-trained, it will just, this part is very basic, just normal, like a rag. This, this is but the behind the part, scene. Right? This is the yeah, use exactly. of asking the question and fetching the results. Yes. But behind the scene, it will just go and search it through the, let's say, the document, sub-document summaries. And then from there, it will just go and find the relevant chunks, return it, to the LLM and LLM will synthesize the answer. You won't see any of that here, but you can compare this approach with the uh, vanilla rag and see which one returned a better response. So then you can compare which approach is working much better. Yeah, I was wondering how it decides how big is the sub document should be. Is it like based on natural understanding of the context or not? No, so here you give the size. Parameter. This is based on really just yes. like hard. Uh, you're just making a cut 
throughout the document, basically. Exactly. Like here, yeah. that for example, I divided that into two parts. You have to come up with some heuristic. You're doing this with the uh, the visual effect of the. Switch. Yes, yes. This is like visually <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Awful, yeah. Right, but think about if you have a book, right? You have multiple chapters, so um, it's the same thing here in the code. Um, so the size, I guess, this is just it has to be large enough. So you don't want to create so many sub documents, right? Yeah. But at the same time, you don't want to create like just a few. Yes, if the document is 100 pages, you can divide it into 50 page, 50 page. But again, it doesn't have, because the bigger the chunks, the more noise in general. Smaller the chunks, more accurate results. It's a trade-off. You have to basically try different numbers and see which one works. But in Llama index, this is the default value. You can play with it, increase or decrease that one. And the same for the chunk size and see which one works better. Yeah, yeah this is subject to user preference and tuning, right? These are tunable parameters and see what fits your use case. So try it out. It's pretty simple. That's, I guess, this is it. This is all the code, right? That's the it. implementation is, yes, you can see that it's just a couple Six of lines five. of code because yeah. behind the scene there is like a lot of things happening but user won't need to worry about it. right right for building a production ready rag system you could leverage something like this already right instead of writing all the chunking and the code to yourself you can if you're already using llama index why not just use these more more practical ways of improving your rag exactly in so for proof of concepts and all that, you can always go with the vanilla rag, which is very easy and straightforward to develop. But when you are going to deploy that into production, you should always follow best practices. And one of them is essentially to include metadata with your documents, right? And as part of the metadata, like document summary, or even better, sub-document summary is a very good technique that you can do and you should be doing because it's a production you just want to get as accurate uh, as possible responses so absolutely this probably helps with the loss in the middle problems that we previously discussed as well yes it actually it, does yes it, yeah yeah also i guess that's it for today for everybody who's interested in our book about rack system we already included something like this in our book as well a practical approach with a uh, RAG system. We will attach link in our description and stay tuned for more content about AI and RAG and large language models. Sure. See you next time, Mary. Thank See you. you.